Hey YouTube world, well, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Yannique. So guys, today I'm going to share a video um, on some lifestyle changes I've made, you know, like it's really benefited me in lots of ways and I just want to share that with you. So today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. I want to share with you how um, that's benefited me and just, you know, um, how I do it, why I've started to do it and, you know, everything that I found out about intermittent fasting and just some food diaries as well. Like I've included some stuff on certain days, you know, um, what I've been cooking, how I've been eating. So if that's something you're interested in, then please stay around and let's jump in. So as we guys know, like there's many different kind of um, lifestyle diets and stuff out there, many different fads as well, you know, that people jump on. People do keto, some people are vegan, some people are pescatarian, some people are vegetarian. There's many different things that people are into. And I think the key is just really finding what suits you, you know, um, your body type um, based on your goals or your medical background and conditions and stuff like that and I feel like I've found that for me with intermittent fasting you know there's even um, circadian fasting I think it's called um, sun cycle fasting and this is where people only eat when the sun's up once the sun's down they don't eat and I think um, intermittent fasting somewhat can be similar intermittent fasting is basically when you fast for a period of time and then you have an opening window of when you eat so for me, I'm doing the 16 to 8. So it means that for 8 hours out of a 24 hour day, um, that's my eating window. And then for 16 hours is when I'm not eating. So on a typical day, I will usually break fast in the morning with like a bottle of water or a cup of herbal tea, no added sugar or sweeteners. And that's what I'll have the first thing when I get up. Now, I won't eat my first meal until I aim for around 11, but each day is different. And this meal is usually like breakfast or lunch. So, you know, brunch. Um, so it's usually like porridge or a sandwich, um, depending what I'm feeling for. But I always make sure I incorporate fruit. So I'm hitting my five a day. Um, my second meal following that, say if, um, my first meal was 11, the second meal will probably be about five o'clock. Um, I usually have something very nutritious. I make sure that, you know, there's salad included, vegetables, fruit juice, and this would be usually my final meal for the day. Um, so after this, after digesting this, my digestive system gets to rest and I will not eat again until the following day, like 11 o'clock. Now I'm gonna tell you the reason why I've started to do this. I believe that without noticing like a lot of people we eat especially snacking 24 7 right around the clock right around the clock now what that was doing for someone like me it was giving me a lot of like gut issues I was I had chronic bloatedness um, also known as IBS I was just always just uh, uncomfortable always bloated um, and you know even for some people like they'll be doing the most crunches in the gym and they just can't get their stomach to go down i've realized a lot of that comes down to what you're eating and not just what you're eating but when you're eating and how often you're eating um and i just realized you know with intermittent fasting that it's really worked for me because now like my body has a routine and a kind of cycle of um what's going on so now it has time to pause, to digest, time to replenish itself, to to heal. Because with uh, modern day people, every day that we just snack in, snack in, snack in, 24 seven around the clock, what that means is you have an overworked digestive system. And if you're like eating three meals a day and you're not excreting two times a minimum per day, you have to think if every day, seven days a week, you're eating three meals per day, how often are you visiting the toilet? You know, because if you're not going to the toilet at least two times per minimum per day, like where is all that food? Where is all that waste products? It just means that it's being backed up inside of you, you know, and this is where you develop digestive issues. This is where you develop constipation issues, or just issues going to the toilet. Or this is where you develop like immune um, system issues because majority of your immune system is located in your gut region. And if your gut is overloaded with just waste and, and, and just food, like... It just means that, you know, more than likely you're blocking up this area in your body. And the thing that happens when we're eating around the clock, it just means that your body is constantly using its energy to digest and break down food instead of using that energy to distribute it to other areas to heal and to replenish and stuff. But 
when your digestive system gets to pause it means your pancreas is not overworked it means your body can use energy from the stored fat and re do repairs do the repair jobs and it's not focusing on oh my god there's more food let me use the energy to digest this food to break this food down you know and this is why a lot of people were, were always feeling like very tired very lethargic because your body's always at work you may not see it on the physical but your inter internal organs are constantly at work trying to digest this food that you keep just chugging down chugging down so i find with intermittent fasting it's given me structure and you know it's given my body um pauses and you know i feel like my internal world is at more balance now that i've started to kind of incorporate this um within my lifestyle so for my first eating window today i'm having a bagel with avocado and some grilled smoked salmon toasted bagel with crushed avocado grilled salmon with some coconut water a nectarine and if I fancy something sweet, I'll have this cereal bar. So this is my first eating window and this is what I'll be having today. So guys, I'm making spaghetti bolognese today. I use corn mince to make my bolognese. I don't like beef. I can't have spaghetti bolognese without garlic bread, so I'm going to get these in the oven while I'm making the bolognese sauce. So guys, um, I'm having spaghetti bolognese with vegan corn, um, the Greek salad I made earlier, garlic bread, pineapple juice, it looks so good i don't believe necessarily intermittent fasting is for everyone because you have to think about different body types you have to think about people's different goals and objectives for their body you have to think about people's different medical condition so you know some people need to um, intake have higher intakes of sugar at certain times because they're diabetic and you know just little things like that so you really have to figure out if it's good for you based on your kind of um, medical condition or whatever goals you're trying to meet but for me the reason why I started was I wanted to um, get rid of my gut condition I felt like this chronic bloatedness it was the most uncomfortable thing ever and not only that like I had some skin problems in the summer where like um, I don't know my skin just went funny with just the weather and stuff and um, I wanted to use my diet to kind of help that to help bring that back into balance and then also just for energy increase and overall mood in boosters and stuff like that so these are the reasons why I wanted to incorporate intermittent fasting and I also wanted to curb my sugar cravings and just like eliminate just snacking snacking around the um, around the clock because I realized a lot of it was out of boredom or a lot of it came down to emotional eating and I just wanted to incorporate some kind of discipline in my life. And this is not just in my eating area. This is like on a 360 level. And I find like this helps to just help me help keep me disciplined as well. So from how I do mines, I do mines um, 16 to 8. So it means that throughout the day, um, there's an 8 hour period that I eat. And then there's a 16 hour period that I fast. So I'll have, I'll break my fast. Sometimes I have to move this around because... A lot of this depends on lifestyle, a lot of this depends on when you work, when you work up an appetite, all of that stuff and trying to also set your body into a routine based on your lifestyle. So for me currently, because I'm working at home, what I do is um, my first meal of the day, um, I, I will have that, I aim for 11 o'clock really, um, but sometimes that fluctuates depending on what my day is like and I do move that around depending on what my day is like. I'm not rigid with it, I just try to stick to you know the main theme of a opening eating window and a fasting period so say i have my first um meal at 11 that's usually kind of a brunchy type of meal so i make sure i incorporate my five a day so i'll have like pineapple juice um i'll have maybe 
an omelette, I'll have some fruits, I'll have some nuts for snacks and stuff like that. Then after I have that meal, I'll have my second meal. Um, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'll have my second meal um, by four o'clock maybe. Um, and then that will be my dinner. And again, I make sure it's nutritious. I make sure I incorporate like, um, you know, just nutritious stuff, vegetables, um, juices, all of that stuff. Um, and that will be my final meal for the day. Now, in between that, if I'm hungry, um, I'll have water or I'll have herbal tea, no sugar. On a bad day, if I'm really hungry, I'll have fruits in between for snack or I'll have nuts. But other than that, that's kind of how I've been doing it. So guys, it's Sunday and I'm still in my eating, my first eating window, which is 11 and 1. I'm not hungry. I've literally not put anything to my head. Um, I don't want water, I don't want tea, I don't want coffee, I don't want anything. My body literally doesn't want anything, so I'm just going to have this half of a melon just for the sake of having something down me. Um, as I'm making the lasagna, which I'm going to have later on at my second eating period. So it's Sunday guys and I'm making dinner for later. I'm making lasagna. Um, as you guys know, I use corn mince, so it's a vegan slash vegetarian mince. Here I have my lasagna sheets soaking in hot water. I'm gonna finish cooking this down, I'm gonna add the sauce and get this going in the oven. Turn that off. Okay, so that's my mince um, for my lasagna. So because I didn't have much this morning except for the melon, I'm bringing my eating window up to three o'clock, three to five. So it's now three and I'm about to have my heaviest meal, which is the lasagna I made earlier, some salad, broccoli, and some little bit of leftover mashed potatoes that I had, and some pineapple juice, and I might have dessert after. And after this meal today, um, this eating window will close at 5 and that's it, I'll be back in fast mode until tomorrow. Overall, I've been doing this for quite a while now, I would say over a month. And the improvement that I've seen is I've got more energy, I sleep better, my chronic bloatedness is gone. Like my IBS is gone, my stomach feels very normal and comfortable, my skin's improved. My sugar craving has been curved completely because I love chocolate and I used to crave that a lot. Um, yeah, so overall those are the benefits I see and overall I feel so much better, I feel so much lighter. I don't feel like just blocked up, you know, I feel really good on the inside. I feel like, you know, the health of my gut and my gut bacteria feels normal and balanced. So those are all the benefits I've seen. I feel like um, this is just gonna be a part of my lifestyle going forward. As I say, don't be too rigid with it. Don't be strict with it. You have to learn how to kind of manipulate things and kind of tailor it to your own lifestyle, to your own needs, your own medical needs, your own health, your own well-being. And I do that. Some days I'm not able to eat at 11 o'clock. Some days I may have to move that to nine o'clock based on what my day looks like. And I have my first meal then. And then, um, you know, my second meal will be spaced out at another time. If that day, like for whatever reason, I'm really, really hungry. I love something in between that's light. But the main thing, like, I feel like I have more control over what I'm eating. Like, you know, I've cut out emotional eating now. Like, you know, and I can just see the overall benefit that intermittent fasting has had on my health. And it's something that I'm just going to make a lifestyle, you know, um, and yeah, so that's what it's been for me. I hope you enjoyed my food diaries. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and you've got anything to share, if you've been intermittent fasting or it's a lifestyle for you as well, drop me some comment in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.